250 years of slavery, 100 years of Jim Crow, sharecropping, the Ku Klux Klan, lynchings, bombings, mass incarceration, the separation and destruction of the black family. All of that has had an effect on our mind. Our mind needs to be decolonized. We today are experiencing mental slavery, not physical slavery as once our ancestors had to endure. In my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we take you through every step to start releasing the chains that's on your mind. He or she who controls the mind, control the person. It is in a vested interest of the white supremacist system to keep your mind bogged down in a mental slavery, throwing entertainment, throwing drugs, throwing alcohol, anything they can at you to keep you bogged down. You got to free yourself from mental slavery. By purchasing our book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind today on Amazon. Make sure you share it with your family, share it with your friends. Everyone can benefit from decolonizing the mind because once your mind is decolonized, you will never be put to sleep again. So you have a Springfield, Oregon, you know, white supremacist um, is facing charges of menacing as saying other crimes after police officers arrested him on charges of threatening and making racist remarks toward black people. It's in two separate incidents and breaking a glass door as they have a downtown business on Thursday, uh, July 8th, around 1.30 p.m. Now, I say, according to a statement from the Springfield uh, police, um, they said that uh, the guy's name is Michael Joseph Schlemmer. Um, and they say, who is Asian? And yes, I said white supremacist, exactly what I said. But he said he threatened a black man and his girlfriend with a knife. It said near 14th Avenue and Main Street in downtown Springfield. And say the couple, it said who were able to get away, he had told uh, the, the officers that the man was brandishing a knife and making racist remarks at them. And they said that they'd never seen this man before. Now, say authorities told, you know, the uh, news and said that around the same time frame, they received another call and said about the man breaking a glass door at a nearby business, Bobby's VIP room. And, and they said that the suspect description fit that of Schlemmer's. They said, but the individual left the scene and say before police could arrive. Now that name Schlimmer, obviously he has a white parent. Probably his father's white, his mom's Asian, obviously. Now they say witnesses told police that Schlimmer crept up behind a black woman who was not identified, was playing a video lottery game when he whispered in her ear that he would uh, murder her. She turned around, she said he threatened her with his fist and acted aggressively. And then Schlimmer later was found two blocks away and say, and arrested. So he was, they say he confirmed the allegations. They said made by the victim's witnesses and the Lane County district attorney and say charged Schlemmer with the following on Friday, July the 9th. He said two counts of first degree bias crime. I would say four counts of menacing, two counts of second degree disorderly conduct, unlawful use of a weapon and criminal mischief. Okay, so they said that Oregon, now their uh, bias crime statute says uh, a person commits a bias crime in the first degree of a person intentionally because of a person's perception of another person's race, color, religion, gender identity, sexual orientation, disability, or national origin places another person in fear of imminent serious physical injury. Okay, so uh, the police chief said this behavior would not, it's appalling, would not be tolerated. Um, in their community, it's everyone in the community has a right to be safe. So you have this, you know, white supremacist going around just threatening black folk. Now they call him an Asian. No, he's just as, he is white as well. He's white because obviously his father is white. But you want to put it on, you want to say he's Asian at that time. See, when it's time to talk about when he's doing his white supremacy, you want to say he's Asian. But you know, um, that stuff go on. We definitely have seen the, the racism also in that, uh, that community, talking about the, the Asian community to our black folks. We've seen that. But they got a hate crime bill, though, a federal hate crime bill at that, specifically putting them in it. 
but black folks suffer the most hate crimes. You know, it's been an uptick of, of black folks suffering hate crimes during the pandemic, but they don't want to talk about that whatsoever. Forget black people because it's okay to do that to black people. It's okay. You know, uh, if, if you do get arrested, well, you get, you know, something on the books. But when it comes to this other group, well, you know, Joe Biden makes sure to uh, take care of this other said group. But yet that other said group didn't vote for him and the numbers of black people voted for him. But, you know, we know the story to that. But uh, I'm glad no, no brother or sister got hurt uh, within this situation. You know, y'all be careful out there, you know, keep your head on the swivel. There's been a lot of craziness going on. Um, even right here in Houston, you know, every time I look up, some road rage incident happening, somebody shooting somebody. I mean, it's it's been so crazy ever since people have been, you know, off of this lockdown that, that people just lost their they freaking mind. So I just always say most of us are from, you know, neighborhoods where we are taught to keep our head on the swivel, you know, make sure you peep in the environment, watch people looking weird, you know, look at, you know, make sure you know where your ex is at at all times, you know, so oblivious to things, you know what I'm saying? You got that feeling something going on, start looking around, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we should always, always, always stay on guard. Now, a lot of y'all like to say that we're in a war and okay, a person in war don't get comfortable. A person in war is always looking around for the enemy. They keep, they're keeping their head on the swivel. They're making sure they, they're not compromised in any kind of way where an enemy can sneak them. You understand? So always think that way. But, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what think about the situation, you know, with this particular white supremacist. And it is your first time uh, coming to our channel. Welcome. And if you are a new subscriber here, welcome to you too. Glad you stopped by. Uh, understand we are a daily news channel. We post, we try to post something every single day for you. And um, we are a family over here. So, you know, make sure you let your friends and family know about, you know, the, the show. And also, if you use your type of person who have been ghost watching. Now ghost watching is people that watch all the time, but they're not subscribed. You, you, you actually have to type our channel name in to actually go watch. You can be, that could be taken away if you just go it on and subscribe. Now, if you don't have a YouTube account, sign up for one, you know, everybody uses signs up for one and just hit subscribe. That way it'd be in your inbox. You won't miss none of the shows that we have. Are you tired of the violence, tired of the injustice, police brutality, rampant discrimination, lack of gun control in this failed by a socioeconomic experiment called America? Or maybe you need a break from the relentless grind and want to regain control of your destiny, your wealth, your health, and your purpose. Diversifiedgame.com has the right course for you. Prepare for my first trip to Africa. Looking to reconnect with your roots, start a new business, or just a fresh start. Africa, AKA the motherland is waiting. Don't let the Chinese and the Mazungus have the fun and also take over the motherland. From Cairo to Mombasa, from Dakar to Cape Town, Africa has something for everyone from business opportunities to the most amazing people, safety, leisure, and landscapes. The opportunities abound. It is time for the diaspora to reconnect with their roots. Time to reconnect with the birthplace of humanity. Africa is the last frontier. Get your head in the game and reclaim your legacy. The writing is on the wall. Babylon is falling. Give up the stress, grind and violence inflicted on our people on this continent and prepare for a journey of restoration and joy by connecting with the land of your ancestors. Check out our new course and kick off your adventure at diversifiedgame.com.